Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10 ps to have a hunt through looking for the alphabet 10 ps Looks like we've got bag bags which we haven't had for quite a while with the 10 ps so it'd be interesting to see how lucky we get with them. What are we looking for then? We want the letters of the alphabet. Now 2019 is the book we really want to finish. Uh, we are, we've got the letters C, E, uh, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, O, R, U and V. Plenty still to get for 2019 but where these 2019s are so so scarce what we've done is restarted the 2018 book and we've got some progress. We've got the letter A and the letter L but nothing else so chances are we may finish another 2018 book before we finish the 2019 book so we'll see how the progress goes but um, without further ado let's get into these coins. So let's jump into some questions then again we're pulling these from a, a giveaway video I think it's the sealed £2 coin uh, bag giveaway <laughs> I forgot the words there uh, first question comes from Morgan Savile who says uh, hi do you think the team GB 50p coin will be valuable coin in the future or is it overpriced now if you're talking about the 2016 team, G team GB it's only face value if we're talking about the 20 what, what year was it yeah 2020 team GB 50p um, it will hold some value because it was not circulated not issued for circulation so yes um, in terms of being over face value 100% it was a very popular design as well. Lots of people really, really liked it. I think it's going to depend whether it gets reissued this year. If it gets circulated this year, then obviously the I think people want the 2021 as well. But I think we need to also remember, it's like with anything collectible now, uh, people will look out and can try and spot what's going to be in the next rare coin or the next rare whatever it happens to be, not just even in coins and other sort of spheres of collecting. And people will buy it and buy it and buy it hoping it will go up in price so I think there must have been an awful lot of those sold um, not just from the Royal Mint from Change Checker and the likes uh, so I think yes it is, it'll be over face value but I think it might not be as much as everyone thinks it's going to be because there's going to be so many people that bought it expecting it to be really really valuable that's only my opinion though and I don't know I've only got my one from the in the annual set I'll point it that way because my annual set is behind me but yeah um, that's all I can say on that um, SRH9893 says, My question is, how do you think a coin collector should focus on their collection without going bankrupt, collecting too many different things? Um, so one thing that people have always said to me, whether it's coin collecting, stamp collecting, focus on an area that you like. Uh, focus f focus on one country, focus on one denomination, focus on blah, blah, blah. And I think that's nonsense. I'll collect whatever I want, <laughs> whatever is in my budget. That's the smart way to do it. Collect what's in your, within your sort of means within your budget. Um, because like at the moment, we are going through a bit of a spate of lots of new coins coming out in a very short space of time. Um, and yeah, that can be a little bit unhealthy for the bank balance, it has to be said. But yeah, I think within your means, collect whatever you want. Um, I wouldn't constrain myself to anything. Um, I, I, I will collect everything and everything that I can lay my hands on within my budget constraints obviously um, Oliver Bensley says any chance of a video showing your rare coins um, well I, I all my coins feature in videos at one point or another my new coins when I purchase them I make videos on you see all the coins as I find them in, in the hunt and then it's been an, almost an annual thing my whole coin collection video which um, I might do again on my on the next anniversary of my coin collecting channel uh, so you stay tuned for that and the, the, the last one went out in March isn't it March 18th I think the channel anniversary three years holy to the day oh there we go we got one P for post box what year is it 2018 woohoo we got one uh, Katrina Dunsire says hello Christopher you've you have been having some very good luck with your two pound coins at the moment. I really enjoy watching your videos. My favorite 50p hunt was when you found the Q Gardens. Well, very lucky in that I have had two videos with Q Gardens in there. Yeah, I found one before I started making the videos. I found one not too long into the channel. I think it was September the first year of my channel. And then last year in September, was it September? I think it was with laughter. He found it in a sort of a joint coin hunt, which is amazing. And let's hope and pray we get another one soon. Um, name Akhtar says question if you could be a fish what fish would you be and why wow I've never been asked this before um, if I had to be a fish I don't know I think some sort of solitary fish that nothing wants to eat because 
I don't want to spend my life swimming around worried that I'm going to be eaten. <laughs> um, I don't know, something, something at the bottom of the ocean that, that no one gives any heed to and we can just swim along in its merry little life, I guess. <laughs> cool question, though. I liked it. Um, Raul Lux Illusion says, what a great giveaway. I have a question. What do you think will be coming next year for Commodity 50B? So, not, not this year. The, so, not 2020, what? 2021, 2022. Wowee, um, I don't really know. Um, we didn't get any Paddingtons in 2020, and we've not heard of Paddingtons in 2021, so I think they, they may have come to an end. We may get a, a re reissuance of some new Paddingtons. Uh, snowman, that's a safe bet. There, there could be a snowman. We've had a snowman the last three years. We might get a snowman again this year, and we could get a snowman the following year. But other than that, I don't really know. Um, it's not something I've even given much thought to because it it, it is very difficult to forecast what the Royal Mint are planning, I guess. Uh, especially because lots of these big sets have all sort of slowly come to an end. Oh, I guess actually there'll be three Winnie the Poohs that we know are going to come out. There could be three dinosaurs carrying on the last two years of dinosaurs that we've had. Um, other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Let me know in the comments what you want to see commemorated on the 50p next year. Um... British Knights says randomly found the channel at like 4 a.m. was instantly interested to keep up the great work. Amazing. It's, it's bizarre how YouTube works, isn't it? Especially when people that have no prior interest in coin collecting find my channel and then get an interest in coins. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, Aaron S, we've got another Team GB question. Do you think the Team GB coin will be reissued next year with the 2021 on it instead of 2020 on it? Great giveaway, thank you. Um, so yeah, that, that I'm sure is the plan. Uh, if the Tokyo Olympics go ahead this year, then we will get the Team GB 50p. Um, whether it will be circulated or not, we don't know. Obviously, it didn't get released um, individually. There was uh, there must have been the silver silver variants from the annual sets, but other than that, it hasn't had its own release. Um, however, I'm sure I read somewhere that the, the the people in charge of the Tokyo Olympics said if it if it doesn't happen this year, they won't defer it another year. Uh, so if it if it doesn't happen if the Olympics doesn't happen this year, then the chances are we won't get it, unfortunately. Um, someone whose name I can't say because it's not uh, PG says, "Do you think the Royal Mint found these 2015 Navy Centenaries behind a cupboard or something and decided to send them out <laughs> from five years ago?" Highly confusing. Uh, so. In a way, I guess, yes. So they, they must have minted, because uh, 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 not so much recently, but um, uh, maybe six months ago, uh, I was finding lots and lots of 2016 Britannias, Navy Centenaries, and the Great Five Londons, which are 2015, 2016 coins. They must have been minted in their, year, in their respective years, 2015, 2016, and it's just the demand for two pound coins just what hasn't been there at all recently. Um, and the demand is slowly caught up and the ones that are in the long store hall a uh, hall long store storage i guess at the back of the coin press room at the royal mint have um now made their way out into circulation whether there's more to be had out of that who knows um there might not be i hope there isn't because that means that there's a chance we'll get a new circulating two pound coin at some point in the future oh two F for fish and chips. And it's a 2019. Woohoo! How good is this hunt going? Bag coins seem to be the way forwards. And there's rumours that we may get a VE Day anniversary release in circulation because was it last year? 20. It might have been 2019. Was it, no, it would be 2020, wouldn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, there was three million two pound coins minted for circulation, but nobody knows what. No, we haven't heard anything. So. I think there's a good chance we're going to get some VE Day anniversary, the 75th anniversary that is, two pound coins circulating at some point in the near future. That's my my speculation. They could just get melted down and not circulated, but I really hope we get some because they're really cool coins. Um, let's have a look. Dave Rude says, wish we could get these in the States. And equally, lots of UK coin hunts would love, love to be able to find silver in our collections. But yeah, my understanding is that we have more scarcer commemorative coins than you have over in the States. So, swings and roundabouts, I guess. Uh, da, 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 da. Unique Hearts says, hello, Christopher. Love your videos. Uh, would love to win. My question is, what is the most obscure foreign coin in your collection? 
That's a tricky question to answer. It's the same question. It's the same sort of difficulty in terms of what's the rarest coin in your collection because rarity is such a. It's not just a case of the lowest mintage figure because some countries have smaller mintages than, say, like the, the US mint absolutely tons of coins, billions of some of the coins. Um, so compared to compare even some of our more common, like 25 million Benjamin bunnies out of a billion. Uh, coins minted in a year, in a year uh, seems very very low but um, obscure coins I don't really know I can't think of anything that makes a coin specifically obscure um, no I can't think of anything other than sort of weird shapes uh, so square coins scalloped coins coins with holes they're a bit odd um, more prevalent than you may think but it's sort of world coins but yeah I, th I can't think of anything specific that jumps out to me to say it's quite an obscure coin I'm afraid um, Ian Strudwick says, Hi Christopher, in World Coins, is there any country you don't have and would really like? Um, yes, so large swathes of Africa, I have no coins from. I have a few from, I think, some of the northern African states and South Africa, uh, Zimbabwe, uh, that sort of neck of the woods. But there's a great big gulf in the middle of Africa where I have no coins from. So that that would be my target to get some coins from. Let's have a look. Uh, Ashley Sparrowhawk says, would you ever start a new hobby? Uh, possibly, yeah, maybe. <laughs> when I free up some time, maybe. I mean, in terms of working, doing the YouTube, and then trying to get carve out some time for myself to just slob out and do nothing. Um, I don't know, maybe. But some, maybe something, something will grab me in the future. Who knows what that could be. Well, no, it's another 2018. Oh my goodness, what a result. Oh, and we got two Fs. Amazing. Maria Griffin says, hi, what's your favorite Star Wars droid? Um, oh, C-3PO, 100 minutes C-3PO, I love that character. Um, I think some of the newer Star Wars droids are really cool. bb I think is awesome. And is it Dio in The Rise of Skywalker? I like that character too. Um, but yeah, there aren't any particular droids that I dislike, but probably yeah, C-3PO is my favorite. Uh, da, 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 da. Dylan says, I've never had any seal bags from the bank. How many coins, world coins included, do you have? Holy Toledo, what a question. Um, I think in terms of what's logged on you, mister, that's knocking on 11,000 coins. A fair few of them are duplicates, though, it has to be said. Um, but then I've also got my world record pennies, which um, <laughs> offhand I can't recall, but it's, is it over 20,000? I think it is. I think we are encroaching very close on the uh, 20, uh, quarter of the way to the world record if memory serves it's been a long time since i recorded one of those videos but um yeah there's a lot of coins that then there's a whole bunch of them they're sat in a in a, a um, box off to the side down there uh, that haven't been flipped or organized since my last world coin collection and also uh, uh, my updated two pound coins i haven't actually got around to logging on new mister yet so plenty more still to come let's have a look here we go. Luke Lewis says, Hi Christopher, I love your videos and have been watching them for ages. Thank you very much. Um, if I remember correct, didn't you use used to work for NatWest as a bank cashier? If so, how many coins did you find and did you keep them? And how can you keep coins if you're a bank cashier? So, almost. I used to work for the TSB bank um, and I worked there for five years. And But when I got into coin collecting, I was a manager at that point and being a bank manager at that time was incredibly busy and hectic um, and I didn't get a chance to just sit and hunt through the coins unfortunately. I mean sometimes my staff would have to go up to other branches and would bring back some nice stuff that they'd find <laughs> but uh, yeah if, the cash, if, my, if my cashiers spotted something they would they would show it to me and yeah, it's just like anything just swapping it for my own cash or withdrawing some cash from my account and getting those commemorative coins but yeah it was, I was far too busy to sit there. It, it sounds like the dream job, working with coins, but um, it was so frantic, so busy. Um, there wasn't the time to do it, unfortunately. I'd love to have been able to, though. Um, Nick Marsh says, If a tree falls in the forest, but there's no one around to hear it, does the tree make a noise? Of course it does. It makes an almighty bang. <laughs> it's not going to be silent, is it? Because um, the sound is just vibrations, isn't it? Which is going to still make the vibrations. Yeah? I think so. Um, lots of people just saying thank you for the giveaway. Aha, uh -huh, Luke has a question. My question, I don't think it's ever been asked. Ooh, here we go. 
I know co collecting coins is a good thing, but if you didn't collect coins, what would you collect? Um, I'm just really curious as I don't know what I would collect to be honest. I've collected pocket watches, uh, but collecting coins is a whole different story, but it's time and effort and patience you act you have actually f to find a coin you need. Uh, great videos, stay safe buddy. It says read more, but I can't read anymore. No, bizarre. Um, yeah, so I, I already collect a whole bunch of other things. I collect stamps. I've still got a whole hoard of stamps. Um, anything Star Wars, the kitschier the better. I love it. Uh, I'm part of Watch Gang as well, so this is my watch of the month, and I've been getting a watch every month for about a year and a half now, um, which I think is really fun and really cool. Um, but other than that, what do I collect? Anything else? I guess postcards. The, ever since I started doing sort of postcard giveaways, I've kept all those postcards, fridge magnets. Um, I started to sound like a hoarder now, so we're not going to carry on this trail of thought actually before I get myself in trouble. Um, coin Kid NYC says, Would you rather be a coin that is circulating in 1277 but was dropped in 1280 and a metal detector found it in 2014? Okay. Or would you rather be a Queen Victoria penny that circulated up to the end of pound sterling? Good question. I guess it depends what the fate of that Victorian penny was. If it had to go back to the men to be melted down, I would rather be the ancient one that was buried for all that time. And then, because if someone finds out, they're going to keep that in their collection, aren't they? I don't want to be melted down. So yeah, I will, I'd hedge my bets and go for the 1277 that was underground until 2014. Um... Uh, RS Focus UK says love the 50p and two pound hunts. What's the story or significance of the ring you wear? This one here. It's top secret, I'm afraid. If you know, you know. And if you know, leave me a cryptic comment. <laughs> We've had this got that question a few times, and I refuse to answer it. <laughs> um, Anne Marie. Uh, Rassicott says, wish I had easier access to coins from the UK. They're all very beautiful coins, makes coin hunting uh, much more fun there. Hence in the US, we, uh, it's always the same designs. Again, I, 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 could, I could very easily say the, the, the US state courts look absolutely gorgeous and I would love to have a coin set like that. So vast in terms of the years they've been circulating from, um, all the different designs. There are mint marks as well, the varieties. I know they're pretty, they seem to, well, my understanding is they're pretty common to find in your change. But um, yeah, I think they'll be a very cool set. I've been long um, moaning and groaning that the UK should have a circulating counties of the United Kingdom set. I think that'd be superb. But that being said, let's get back to the coins. Well, there we go. Holy Toledo, what a result. We found more in this video than the last 10 weeks worth of hunts. We got two one pound coins, a 20p coin, two large old style five pences, uh, a US state quarter from Illinois, a one Swedish, Swedish, Finnish marker, two Jersey 10ps, and then a 2018 P, V and F, which are three new coins for the 2018 book, and a 2019 F as well, which is sadly is not new for the book, but um, I won't grumble at that. So let's get the three new ones into the book. First we'll get F in. Next up we need the letter P. And our crowning victory, the letter V. So we've got one in every panel of this book now. It is swiftly catching up the 2019 book, isn't it? Unbelievable stuff, but holy Toledo. What a bunch of odd finds as well, though. Weird sort of denominations to find in bags of 10 pences, but I won't complain. For those of you that have watched this far in the video, though, you might be interested to know that I've got a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to come and join that if you're over the age of 13, which is Discord's rules, not mine. Alternatively, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. There's always the PO box you can write into if you so wish as well. But as ever, all that leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.